Hello fellow Blenderers, this is Peter here with PM Designs and this video I'm going to show you a super easy way to add a tattoo to your character's skin just like this. So let's get straight on with it. I've got the base character mesh here from the Blender 3.6 update just because I'm not really allowed to show you most of the stuff that I work on. So I'm just going to use this guy and he's got a basic procedural skin. So I'm just going to save this before anything happens. Um, it's just like a few freckles and some bump. It's very basic. Uh, so I'm going to add my tattoo. So I'm just going to duplicate this because I don't want the tattoo to go everywhere. So I'm going to add a new material and select my procedural skin, copy material, come down to my new one and click paste material. And I'm going to call this tattoo and save again. It's coming out. I made this video once, but I forgot to press record. So that's why it's coming out with tattoo.001. Oh, stupid. Anyway, right. Let's hide my studio lights for a moment. So I've got my tattoo one um, material selected. I'm going to tab into edit mode and choose the area where I want the tattoo to be placed, something like that. And press control plus until I get, yeah, this is the, this is the area I want the tattoo to be placed. So click on the tattoo material and assign. So it's exactly the same as the procedural material, sorry, the procedural skin material. So you won't notice any difference yet. But so in my tattoo now, I'm going to make a little bit of space and I'm going to add an image texture. And in that image texture, I'm going to open my pre-downloaded dragon tattoo, which I have. Um, you, you need to get your own PNG. It must be a PNG. Make sure it's a true PNG, not these fake PNGs, which I don't know, for some reason, are often labeled as PNG, but then they have a solid white background. Um, it must be a true PNG. So now I'm going to add a mix RGB, and that's going to go in here between my skin color and my shader, my shader, um, my principal BSDF. And then this is really, really easy. All I have to do is get my image texture, plug the alpha into the factor of this mix RGB. And that's it. It's basically done. But <laughs> that, that's as far as we need to go. But really, we need to do a little bit more. So now go to my image texture and choose repeat sorry, click on repeat and change it to clip because I don't want the tattoo to repeat. I just want it to be a solid block, but I need to, I need to say that the tattoo is exactly here. So I'm going to press control and T on my image texture to get the texture coordinate and mapping node. And now it's using the UV and in a moment, nothing's going to happen. Okay. So now you can see, you know, you can't see much change in the, in the texture here over here is the normal skin and here is the tattoo skin is the same but I need to unwrap this okay if by chance you've clicked off of it and you don't can't remember which one is that that area you just click on your tattoo shader again and click select and I'm going to unwrap okay so there we go we've got our tattoo easy so now we're going to um, we open up a new workspace sorry which is going to be UV editing and I just need to I just need to now fix this, this, I just need to fix this UV so that the tattoo is facing the right way. So I'm going to I'll come over here and press A and I'll rotate by minus 90. Okay, and that's going the right way. Now I need to square this up a bit. Or I could just size it like that. So that's why I set it on clip. If I just go back to shading for a moment, if I set it back on um, repeat, that's what happens. So that's why we set it on clip. It just it just clips that area. So you've only got the tattoo. If you didn't want to, let's say for example, that you're using, um, uh, you're using like a UV mapped shader, a skin shader, and you didn't want to resize this part. So um, it's already designated as um, this size. That's also easily fixed. So that's why we've got this here. We can adjust the scale of our dragon and just align that using the um, mapping node like that. And so now I'm just going to give it the color, which is the mix RGB node over here. Just change it to black. If you want a black tattoo, fresh tattoos are usually black with a little bit of red around them. Um, as they get older, they become like a little bit green or blue. So you could just, just do that color yourself here. Okay. So you can make it just a little bit green. You could even use a color amp to mix green and black together. Something like that might look a little bit more realistic if that's what you're going for. And one more thing you could do if you're doing, I don't know, like some crazy futurist, futuristic stuff where people have weird UV tattoos or something, you can also just add in another um, 
you know you can add in some other stuff to the to the color down here you could have i don't know you could add some green and some blue with the voronoi texture just for fun then go like that and there you go so you can get some interesting tattoos going on you can clamp those right in to get weird colors whatever you want to do okay but the basic way would be just to have this second color with nothing in it set to black and that's it easy if you found that useful please drop a like if you didn't please let me know why thanks very much